hi guys welcome back to my channel and it's been forever since i made video <laughs> um if you're new here hello my name is Dela and uh, welcome back to my channel on this channel i create content relating to travel trending topics and lifestyle so today i'm going to be doing something a little bit different i'm going to uh, <laughs> i'm going to be making my hair yes this is my hair everything that you see is mine <laughs> so today i'm going to be making jumbo locks please just ignore my nails yes i know they are bad <laughs> but this is what you get when you're at home all by yourself doing absolutely nothing so please just ignore anything that's going on in this finger on these fingers here so uh, i'm going to be making my hair and i'm going to be showing you how to make um, the jumbo locks i've watched a lot of youtube videos and i'm like okay let's try them let's see what the results will be like hopefully it comes out well fingers crossed now stay tuned to the hand um, before i start i'm going to show you everything that i'm going to be needing for the hair first of all um i got this from the market this is um above um upper phone for blocks so I found four locks is going to be what I'm going to be using as the base of my locks. I'm going to be plating it with here. You see when I when I start using this, I, I got just one pack of this. Um, this is what I'm going to be using for the base. And then for the coating, I got expression collection on the crochet braid. Um, this is in color two, so it's not completely black. It is more or less like. Um, um, close to the color of my hair, so which makes more sense, right? So this uh, I got two of this, so hopefully it will be enough. I'm just keeping my fingers crossed. Oh, also, before I forget, I'm going to be making very very big ones because I don't like losing hair. Like I'm not a fan of losing hair. Yes, it's nice when we make hair, and I'm looking up paying hair, but I don't like sitting down to make hair only if I'm making it by myself, and. I don't like big, I don't like a lot of hair, like a lot of braids, and uh, you will not find me there. So I prefer to make big, big braids, which is why I'm going to be making big, big locks. I love the big, big locks, actually, jumbo it's locks. So. Here we are. So this is the hair I'm going to be using. Um, this is what I'm going to be using to um, moisturize my hair, to uh, what's it called, to give it a little bit of breeze. So this is Blue Magic Conditioner Hair Dress. Uh, this is not a sponsored video, by the way. So. I'm just use, I'm just showing you what I'm using. Also, this is olive oil egg, uh, edge right. So this is what I'm going to be using to lay the hedges. So um, and then of course, this is Nigeria. So we use this <laughs> as our divider, as our cutting comb here to part out the hair and all of that. I have like two different things. This is another one. This is usually used at the northern part of Nigeria mostly used at the northern part of nigeria this is what they use don't mind my own it has a lot of uh, bumps along the way boy <laughs> so i'm going to be using this as well and of course my comb don't mind me i just comb this out so that's why there's still a little bit of hair residue here so and um, then i'm going to be using lighter so just, just to the hair uh, to use it to burn the edge of the braid okay so uh I just divided my hair into four sessions now. One, two, three, and four. Uh, even though it's not perfect here, but it is a lot. It's supposed to look more natural. So, who cares if it's perfect or not? <laughs> okay, so I just did this. So, I'm going to be starting with this one in the front so that you guys can see before I, um, before I continue the rest all by myself. So, I'm going to be turning this into think see me trying to make it perfect after i said perfection does not matter okay i think i'll leave it like this this is big enough one of this one of this i made it this okay one of this this is a crochet part i made it i so i tore it apart into two okay so what i'm gonna do now is i'm going to um 
adjust this to have one length longer than the other okay so this is what i have this part is longer than this part so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to have to clip my hair with this do a single strand of hair with this so I'm not going to make this too tight because Able to do it this way, so I get to have a long lock, which is my desired result. So, after doing that, I'm now going to open my special collection and I'm going to take out what I'm going to be using to wrap this into a lock. Oh, look at me, I forgot to. <laughs> Mind me, this is I'm still very new at making a video tutorial or now to make it uh, as I mean I'm doing it all by myself without this tutorial. All of this will not be there to so, so cream my part to add a little bit of cream where my part is okay so that it will not be too dry. And I already ended up making a dry hair. JJ's life. And then I'm supposed to add this edge right to the root of my hair to make it stay well. But maybe the next one I'm making, I would try not to make the same mistake. And I actually forgot to leave a little residue of my hair to bring out the baby hair shape. But I still have a tiny little one because I have a lot of baby hair. Okay, so this is supposed to hold the roots. Can you see how firm it is holding this? I don't know why I'm doing free advert for a uh, free advert for olive oil, but I do enjoy their products. Their product is nice, and I can recommend it for anybody that's having a um, challenge or two getting the right edge control for your hair. This is the perfect one. I mean. It also helps to moisturize your hair. It doesn't leave it dry at the end of the day. See how laid this is. I mean, just check it out. Mm. My hair's popping. <laughs> okay, back to it. So I'm going to remove this now. I'm going to remove this and at the other hand of this. So I said it was hit before. So if everything is like this. I might end up having just four. So four, four, that's eight in total. Plus the second pack, another eight. So that means I have a total of 16. And you see, now I have to really, really reduce what I'm about to make on each where I imparted um, um, air to four. Because I cannot, I cannot do, because I can no longer do five, because this won't be enough. Look at me. To think I've planned this in my head and I have the perfect <laughs> measurements and everything. So I'm going to divide this into two because um, by the time I start wrapping my hair, I might end up needing extra and um, I don't want it to be extra too thick, but at the same time, I want it to come out very, very nice. So, so this, I'm just going to try to pick this a bit so that 
does not look too divine and at the same time I want it to be as natural as possible so I'm just going to try and use my hand to you know divide this a bit see, see the end see the other hand I'm here to divide see what I've divided can you see the difference this looks more natural compared to this okay so I'm just going to do the same thing to this side because I want this to be as natural as possible so we're done now so what I'm gonna be doing now is I'll start wrapping my hair now by the time you want to wrap your hair I think I still have to divide this a tiny little bit okay by the time you start wrapping your hair you know you know you have one hand right yeah uh, so I'll advise that you add this to the root of your hair so that you don't um, start wrapping with this so that this will help to secure the hair firmly do you get what I'm saying so I'm just going to start wrapping my hair now I hope you guys can see what I'm doing so I'm going to start wrapping my hair now I'm still securing the roots securing the roots with the air securing the roads I'm rolling the roads three times so can you see this so you see that my hair is not too it's not too firm and it's not too loose it is the, the perfect size I want it to be so I think I've secured the room let me wrap it one more time so um we're good to go so i'm going to start wrapping the body down now now this doesn't have to be perfect your wrapping doesn't have to be perfect because i want it to be as natural as possible so i don't want a perfect uh, um locks because the beauty of locks is actually more in the imperfection bring makes it more beautiful that way point of wrap, this wrapping is just for you to um, make it um, loose don't make it so firm if you are if you are holding too tightly and um, turning this too tightly you will end up having something that will be so stiff and you don't want that you want it to be movable and bendable as easily as possible look at this look at this now that is my desired result so I'm just going to continue wrapping Take your next strand and have the hands to it, and then you wrap. This is what is left of the hair, so you need to just look. This is what is left of the hair. I'm supposed to keep wrapping like this, so I'm just going to do as I want to wrap. I'll put my finger there, okay? See. So I've already made I've made a, a circle right so I'm just going to put the air pass the air inside move my finger pass the air inside the circle that I made and tie it that is the point of the circle is to tie move the air okay see pull it and just tie it to secure it make sure it is firm to secure it okay can you see I can I can choose to remove my hand here already but I'm not going to do that I'm just going to tie it one more time just to secure it firmly okay see to secure it firmly yeah. 
Okay. This is the pole. Can you see this? So I'm just going to bring this as this through the pole. As simple as that. now so this is what is left of the year so I'm just going to cut it just going to cut this out and then I would um, I would burn the end so that it's not going to come out okay I really cut this out with my blade I have my lighter here so I'm just going to burn the end Please be careful with the lights. I don't know why the ignition is very slow. Okay, so lighter. So I'm just I don't know if you can see what I'm doing. I'm just going to burn the edge and secure the end. yeah see this this is the hand of the lock this is the hand of the lock so guys this is the end result of the air and you can see the beauty oh, and i had to do some little accessories here and there to make the air look even more beautiful so i did a little bit of white thread a little bit of red thread and some of this some of this okay and then I laid my hedges mm. looking all good what do you guys think do you like the hair tutorial do you want me to do more hair tutorials and hope you like this video don't forget to like subscribe share this video and let me know what your thoughts are on my lovely jumbo braids and the length is not so lengthy as much as i thought it would be but i still like the length so take care peace out bye